From the start of All Seas, in 1985, we set out to do totally new things, to never do something that other people could do just as well, that we would always innovate and excel in a technical way. The idea of pioneering spirit, uh, Peter Schelter, first came up when we existed about a year, a year and a half or so. Uh, we were a very young company, starting in 1985, and uh, by 1986 we had the idea to build a, a ship that could lift big platforms all at once. By 2004, 2005, we, we really knew what the ship should look like in broad outline. And then by 2006, we said we've got a solution that we know will, will work. We don't know exactly uh, what it will cost. We don't know how complex it's going to be in detail, but we know that we are here. We have a, a concept in our hands that, that has to become successful. In 2016, the vessel sailed out for her first job. And then came the moment of lifting, and I remember very well pushing that button, and, and it really went. And I was, sur well, I wasn't surprised it went, but I was so relieved that it really did work, because there come that big platform, 13,000 ton, going up four meters in the air, and, uh, and succeeding. It was a, a magic moment. Pioneering Spirit is the largest construction vessel in the world. Designed for the motion compensated, single lift installation and removal of large offshore platforms and the installation of record weight pipelines. We are currently working on a new innovation for Pioneering Spirit, the Jacket Lift System. You're building something that has never been done before. I'm very confident that it will work as planned. So the jacket lift system is a system designed to install and remove jackets. Um, and it works using two structural beams that are located on the aft of the pioneering spirit. They are hinged upwards using a hang off and upending system which hydraulically pushes the beams upwards um, until we reach a, a position of about 90 to 110 degrees. In this position, blocks are lowered. So there are six blocks, three on each beam that can be lowered to connect to the jacket. We then uh, lift the jacket up out of the water by pulling in the main hoist blocks. And then we inboard tilt the beams until the jacket is laying horizontally on the pioneering spirit. We thought of a way to, to avoid the use of a cargo barge. And that was by the jacket lift system. It could lift a big jacket at once and you didn't need a cargo barge to put it on. You could actually lift the jacket and put it on your own ship, whereby you are not dependent on the, on the cargo barge that is we very weather sensitive, but you just keep the, the jacket on your ship and your ship is much more stable than a cargo barge. There's a, an order of magnitude of difference in motions. And then you can uh, lift the jacket and transport it to shore in, in all sorts of weather conditions and uh, save a tremendous lot of time. The main advantage of the system would be that it's a single lift, so it's a much safer and faster way of installing and removing jackets. And um, of course, the capacity is very unique in its sort. It's the only system that can lift uh, jackets up to 20,000 tons. years of work of designing and drawing and making plans and now we're actually uh, creating this and I'm at the forefront of uh, installing and commissioning it and I'm really excited to see it work uh, in a brief time. It's a project where we're seeing a lot of innovation, we're doing things that, that have never been done before 
there's a lot of things that uh, that we have to figure out as we're going. One of the challenges that we encountered was, for example, installing the one of the parts of the hang-off frame and the up-end system. You can imagine that these subcomponents can weigh up to 700 tons, and then you have to uh, lift it and properly align it in place within a few millimeters. So those tolerances and those weights combined make it a challenging process to uh, get it all installed on board. The biggest challenge, I think, would be um, that it's such a large team. We have uh, over 100 uh, people working in the office and also the same amount on board to assemble everything. Um, and I'm in between those two, so I'm uh, the bridge between the office and the, the, the vessel. So it's challenging, but it's a very fun and uh, energizing experience. I'm very confident that it will uh, work as planned. Um, we've had a long trajectory from concept design all the way up to fabrication, installation and commissioning, um, in which we've simulated a lot of parts of the system. And we have a um, very extensive team that has also worked on previous um, developments, such as the topside lift system. So there's a lot of experience in the team already. But all the, the hardware was, uh, was functioning as, uh, as intended. We're currently at halfway. So TRL3 is um, planned to be achieved in Q2. Up the skid track for the first time. The status of the jacket lift system at the moment is about 80% complete. So far we've installed all the main hoist and derrick hoist winches and the finalized commissioning on that scope. Uh, in the next phase we installed the hang-off frame and up-end system and are now finalizing the, the commissioning on that scope. Um, I think this phase of the project, so the fabrication, installation and commissioning phase are the best phases because it's really coming to life. Um, we finally see what we've been designing for so long and we get to basically uh, play with the system, tweak it until it's perfect. The next big milestone will be installing the jacket lift system beams on board. Yeah, you can imagine those beams are 170 meter long, almost 6,000 tons and we will skid them over the aft deck of Pioneer Spirit. And the final alignment to install them is uh, two millimeters. So you can imagine those, yeah, those contrasts between the, the length and the size with respect to the installation tolerances are uh, quite exciting and uh, challenging. All Seas started developing the Pioneering Spirit concept in 1986. Radical ideas have now become reality. The result is a game changer in the heavy lift industry. Two years after we commenced with fabrication, key components and systems are arriving from sites around the world. The jack lift system beams have been fabricated at Cimolai, Monfalcone in Italy. When the fabrication of the, the beams was completed, the, they were driven out of the factory and then driven onto Iron Lady one by one, along with the jack lift system tails. And then uh, the Iron Lady was towed to Rotterdam, to the mass flock to where uh, we are currently. Once the Iron Lady arrived in Rotterdam with the beams, the vessel side of the preparations were uh, completed. On the Iron Lady we had to do uh, the preparation, preparing the beams for, uh, for installation. The installation of a 6,000 ton beam is a, is a challenging operation. This was uh, performed by um, a combination of SPMTs uh, driving it from the Iron Lady and a skidding system on board the Pioneer Spirit taking over the load once it's moved closer uh, to the final position. So uh, we're currently standing on Iron Lady and from here we drove the beam onto the, the Pioneer Spirit. The beam was driven and then taken over by the Novarka skidding system at which point we had to align the beam shafts with the hang frame shafts. After transferring the load to this final skidding system, which is uh, very accurate in all directions, so in X, Y and Z direction, we could uh, carefully position the beams between the, the hang frames, after which we could uh, install the, the main pivots. Channel 5. Copy, thank you. Hi, right, good morning. Morning. Halfway. Halfway? Okay. The jacket lift system completes Pioneering Spirit's heavy lift capability. With this system, jackets weighing up to 20,000 tons can be installed and removed in one piece. 
170 meters in length and equal in weight to the Eiffel Tower, the Jagged Lift System Beams are the largest 690 grade steel structures ever built. Yeah, there were a few challenges. Uh, for one, we had to position the Iron Lady behind uh, the Pioneer Spirit, which was never done before. It's of course a less stable configuration uh, and especially for the beam installation where we had very tight margins, we were very limited as to how much wind we could have. Uh, so the weather window was quite, uh, quite strict. The most challenging part of the installation was the final three meters. There we had two millimeters clearance between the main hinges and the beams and we had to line up the holes to get the pins installed. For the second pin we had to move uh, two millimeters forward uh, with the whole beam okay. to, uh, to get a little bit of rotation. Okay. okay. Now that the beams are installed uh, we will have a challenging time ahead of us. There is uh, still plenty of work to do before we can uh, upend the beams and start using them. Next steps are to uh, mechanically complete the jack and lift system beams and to do uh, final commissioning of uh, subcomponents. After which we have the huge milestone of uh, upending the, yeah, the huge jack and lift system beams for the first time. night turns to day, the team on board Pioneering Spirit is doing the final checks before the beams are upended for the first time. We are good to go. Today is an exciting day. We're finally upending the beams synchronously for the first time. So it's a, it's a big moment. Mike, Slava, you're in position. Today we are upending uh, both jacket lift system beams to 109 degrees for the first time. It's really uh, nice to get up close with the systems that you've seen on drawings for uh, quite some time. It all becomes reality now. It's nice to work with the people on board to uh, bring the system to life. There are three main systems that are used for upending the beam. The first one is easy, it's the water ballast system. It's just pumping water into the tails to ensure that we have sufficient weight under the hinge. Secondly, we have the Daracoy system. It's uh, four Daracoy winches per beam, which ensure that we have sufficient tension on the top side of the beam. So basically, they're pulling the beam downwards. And then we have the up-end system. The up-end system is used for uh, pushing out the beam. So it's a balance of forces, which we have to uh, maintain uh, throughout the up-ending. Okay, we will start. Uh... Guys, go ahead. During upending, we also control and monitor other systems. So we have uh, 12 main noise winches, uh, six block connection system winches, uh, we have uh, driven sheaves, and those have to also be controlled during upending. So they are not actively used for upending, but they need to move along as well. The main challenge during the upending is the synchronized motion that we need from the many systems that are connected to the beams, which need to work together to create the up-end motion that you see. up of the beams went very well. We up the beams synchronously within all margins and uh, yeah, all the loads were controlled very well. So I'm very happy that we managed to uh, pull this off. The next up is uh, load testing the system. So we will uh, load test the system up to the design capacity of 20,000 tons. Uh, in order to do so, we will load each beam up to 11,000 tons and each main hoist block up to 5,500 tons. The load test will show that uh, the system can operate at these uh, extreme loads that will occur during the installation and removal of jackets. Engineers and crew on board Pioneering Spirit perform commissioning load tests ahead of the moment of truth. The first offshore lift with the new revolutionary jacket lift system. So the next milestone is also the biggest milestone of the jacket lift system project. We will head out to the North Sea to remove a jacket for the first time. 
After years of design, engineering, building and testing, it is the moment of truth. Time to deploy the revolutionary jacket lift system for the first time on a commercial project. Pioneering Spirit is on her way to the North Sea. Waiting for the vessel is a decommissioned jacket weighing more than 8,000 tons. I feel uh, excited that we are finally here after years of development. Uh, only days away now. I absolutely wanted to be present during the first jacket lift, having lived towards this moment for actually for 30 years, uh, because it has taken that long to build it and put it to use. We are very confident that it will be successful, but in advance of it really happening, it's always a thrill. Uh, we've been here in the field for a couple of days. So there were a couple of milestones already, putting in the, the rigging platforms as we arrived, making the first cuts subsea, seeing the, the beams upended. So yeah, just being here is, uh, is an exciting opportunity and uh, the most exciting bit is still ahead of us. We are lifting a jacket with four blocks, which are controlled individually. So that will be a first. And uh, apart from that, we also have a unique capability of lifting a jacket and then rotating it inboard uh, to the deck and there we have to redistribute the loads uh, of the grillages, so the support points on the jacket during uh, that process. It went beautifully. It was the first time we used the system, of course, after having done tests, but it was, went surprisingly smoothly. It was as if we'd done it many times before. <laughs> the most exciting moment, um, that must have been the moment at lift, when we were standing here on the bridge and there was complete silence and everyone was watching whether we would reach first separation because that's the moment you know that your system works and you're fully separated from the seabed and we watched the numbers on the screen and we saw the separation increase from zero to a couple of meters then we knew it worked and there was a big applause here and a sigh of relief as well. I am the most proud of how we accomplished this as a team. The system has been thought out many years ago it's been tested and tested over again but then got it just worked so beautifully right away. The first time was incredible. While the team is still celebrating the latest milestone, Pioneering Spirit is on her way to a disposal yard to deliver the jacket for recycling. Equipped with two unique lifting systems, the vessel is now complete, offering the offshore energy market a total solution for heavy lift work. A busy summer awaits the team a record number of offshore lifts, many with the new jacket lift system. Designed, engineered and built by the pioneers of all seas.